Good afternoon, boys and girls. We're going to do another lesson. Uh, we're on 2.9 today, and we're going to talk about counting on and counting back by tens and one hundreds. And the essential question is how do you use place value to find 10 more, 10 less, 100 more, or 100 less of a three digit number? Let's go. All right, the first slide I'm going to share with you. Let me move my picture out of the way a little bit. I think I can drag this up here. There we go. The first picture I'm going to, or the first screen I'm going to share with you is uh, the number 264. And you can see that we have uh, 100, another 100, and then we got one, two, three, four, five, six tens. So we have two hundreds, six tens, and one, two, three, four ones. Two hundreds, six tens, four ones. So if we want to show 10 less than 264, we could take the same drawing and just cross off 110. So now we have two hundreds, but instead of six tens, we've got one, two, three, four, five, five tens. And then we still have the same number of ones, three and four. So 10 less than 264 is 200. 54. It's 110 less. Instead of six tens, we have five tens. Now, to make it 10 more than 264, we take the same drawing, but we add just a 10. So now we still have two 100s, but now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. And then, of course, we still have one, two, three, four ones. So now you've got 10 more than 264 is 274. Let's try another. All right, you can show 100 less or 100 more than a number by changing the digit in the hundreds place. So the digit in the hundreds place for this number is 2. 264, same drawing that we looked at last time. But to do 100 less than 264, we're just going to cross off one of the hundreds. So now we just have 100, and then one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and one, two, three, four ones. So 100 less than 264 is 164. 100 more than 264, we take the exact same drawing, but we add a hundred. So now in the hundreds digit, there's a three instead of a two. It's one more, one more hundred. So we have one, two, three hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six tens, and one, two, three, four, four ones. So 100 more than 264 is 364. So let's see if we can just look at writing the number. 100 more than 155. So I just want to change the 100s digit up one. So one more than five would be six. And then I'll leave the tens digit and the ones digit the same. So 100 more than 555 is 655. 10 less than 689. So I'm going to change the tens digit down one. So one less than eight is seven. So the six and the hundreds digit will stay the same. The tens digit will go down one and the ones digit will stay the same. So 10 less than 689 is 679. Now let's try 100 less than 392. So I'm gonna focus again on the hundreds digit and I'm gonna make it one less. So 392 has three in the hundreds. Let's make it one less, make it two in the hundreds. We'll keep nine in the tens digit and two in the ten or in the ones digit. So 100 less than 392 is 292. Now we could do the same thing by thinking about it in terms of a story problem. Juan's book has 248 pages. Let's draw it. 200. four tens and eight ones. Keep them organized. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So 248 pages. This is 10 more pages than Kevin's book. How many pages are in Kevin's book? So we're going to take this exact same drawing. I'm going to change my color. And we're just going to add a 10. So by adding that 10, I changed the number to 200 because there's two hundreds. But now there's one, two, three, four, five tens. And there's still eight ones. So by focusing on just changing the digit, either up 10 or down 10, changing the tens digit up one or down one, changing the hundreds digit up one or down one, we can go back to our central question and we can use place value to find 10 more, 10 less, 100 more or 100 less of a three digit number. All right, good, with, good luck with your math slides.